to the latest in the Planned Parenthood controversy. The anti-abortion group Center for Medical Progress released a fifth video this week in a series that's prompted about a dozen states to launch independent investigations of Planned Parenthood, including here in Massachusetts, where no wrongdoing is found. And Republicans in D.C. are pushing to defund the group altogether. Adam Riley has more on this, but a warning. Some of what you're about to see is difficult to watch. Does Planned Parenthood profit from the sale of fetal remains? That's the contention of the California-based Center for Medical Progress. The group's fifth video focuses on secretly filmed conversations with Melissa Farrell, the director of research for Planned Parenthood Gulf Coast. And it contains some footage that seems to back up that claim. This Planned Parenthood says those comments were taken out of context and that it provides fetal tissue for research purposes legally without making a profit. Outside of the Beltway, they know what Planned Parenthood is. They know the compassion of our doctors and staff. But this latest video is troubling for other reasons. It highlights the physical reality of abortion in graphic detail. So the intestines are here. Right here, see? Yeah. This comes out, like I said, the organs come out really, really well. And it shows abortion providers speaking flippantly about the pregnancies they've just ended. Are there any fresh specimens from today that we can still look at? Or? <laughs> we had a they're really long day and they're all mixed up together in a bag. A push to defund Planned Parenthood failed in the U.S. Senate when Republicans order. couldn't get enough votes to overcome a filibuster. Now some Republicans want to shut the government down this fall unless federal funding is pulled. Meanwhile, the Center for Medical Progress says there are seven more videos still to come. Adam Riley, WGBH News. Joining me now to talk more about this are Marjorie Egan. She's my co-host on Boston Public Radio and spirituality columnist with CruxNow.com at The Globe. Good to see you, Marjorie. Martha Coakley, former attorney general, Democratic candidate for governor, now with the law firm Foley Hoag. Same to you. you. And Jonathan Alexander, legal counsel at Mass Family Institute, which lists among its many missions, preserving life from conception to natural death. Good to meet you, Jonathan. Likewise, Martha, you. you're pro-choice. When you saw this video, when you saw the Deborah Nucatola, director of medical services, glass of wine, seeming to say in an edited video that they were selling fetal tissue, what was your reaction? Uh, I knew that it had been edited, I knew that it was inaccurate, and I think it's totally taken out of context, knowing what I know about what Planned Parenthood did, providing health care, providing contraception, and they do research that helps other babies survive. That did her attitude bother well. either what you saw here or the Jim, attitude of no If Nocatola? you sat in with a medical examiner, with doctors talking about surgery, with prosecutors talking about cases, every... She's illegally wiretapped there. Every institution talks in a way that if you bring somebody inside may look... Uh, like it's not what it is, but it's totally unfair. Your pro-choice too. What was your reaction, Marjorie? I think she, uh, this Dr. Nicotola, and that was the one that upset me the most. It, it was the, it was what she was doing. It was like eating with incredible gusto, drinking the wine with incredible gusto. I think when you can talk that way about something that is so controversial, it's not to me like a medical doctor because most medical doctors are operating in people who want to be cured. There's no nothing really happy about an abortion, no matter how you feel about uh, abortion. So I think she's grown numb. I don't think she should be working at Planned Parenthood anymore. But there's absolutely nothing in any of these videos that says anything about selling. It's very clear. Exactly. It's all about donating. Jonathan, it, it's true. When you look at... The, if you look at the edited video, I think the point that a number of Republican senators have made sounds fair. But when you watch the unedited video, she not, appears not to be talking about selling it, oh. but talking about transportation and storage costs, which is perfectly legal to do. That's true, isn't it? Well, there's a callousness uh, shown in their demeanor regarding the selling of baby body parts. Uh, there's videos that have come out recently, videos that were there before that show a price negotiating, bartering, uh, ultimately for the sale of baby body parts. But callousness is not a basis for defunding. Callousness may be a basis for disgust in some quarters, but that's not a basis for taking it's, away it's half a billion dollars, is it? It's certainly a basis for investigation. You mentioned the half billion dollars. You follow the money trail that pa Planned Parenthood has. Uh, you see that they're set to make a profit from it. But there's also a money trail that comes from federal taxpayers, citizens that are paying money to the federal government. Well, they contend it's not a problem. It covers the cost of storage and... And, uh, and, uh, and there are people who want to shut the government down, so you know what the agenda is. Unless here. it's defunded. They're trying to tie it to yes. the continuation of funding. And, and it's totally Why shouldn't there be an investigation, Martha? What's I, the downside of that? I'm not against that? an investigation, and the Attorney General here in Massachusetts said she would look at it, she reviewed it. We don't 
even have the policy here in Massachusetts. But you can't take an illegally wiretapped video, take it out of context, and say, I want an investigation, and I want it. They, don't, they want to defund what it. What you can do is see the images that we all have have seen. What you can also do is have the visceral reaction what that images? we have seen. The images of an individual, as you mentioned, sitting down, gustily drinking a glass of wine and talking about the sale of baby body But beyond parts. offensive, I mean, she does say wow, and she talk about hearts, and but, but again, other than being personally offensive, is that the basis for action or the well, basis well, for it, maybe it's, revulsion? It's, it's, it certainly opens the door to say that there's something wrong. And as, as much as there's a remedy in court to, to hold folks accountable, folks certainly that we're giving money to as American citizens, I think we ought to explore all avenues. Marjorie? Here, here's the thing for me. There is something really disgraceful 40 some years after Roe v. Wade that we are still, that women who need abortions are going to freestanding clinics. Can you imagine if men who had erectile dysfunction problems had to go to a freestanding clinic to have their problems What's solved? Your solution? It would not happen. The solution is hospitals and physicians and, and clinics that do everything else have said, we don't want this hassle. We don't want to worry about protesters. So women are in a position of worrying about protesters, worrying about another John Salvi, having to go to freestanding clinics. Salvi, the, the, the next, man who killed people yes, at Planned Parenthood. The next Violence. generation of they, young women, just, I just want to finish this, this next generation of young feminists should make it their business to say, we want abortion treated like everything else and done in hospitals or And the whole point, just to be clear, if you go to a hospital, the demonstrators know if you're yes, going there for Yes, and the men, a, Planned Parenthood, aspirin. could do what it does best, you know, uh, uh, birth control and, and, and uh, sexually transmitted diseases and cancer screenings and all that. Jonathan, stuff. there's certainly a history of Planned Parenthood. You've mentioned some of the nefarious activities that Planned Parenthood has been known to do from Roe v. Wade. You look back to it. She didn't mention any Planned nefarious oh, activities. And, and, well, well, yeah, you specifically said that there are things uh, that Planned Parenthood has done. That well, you we, make your make your case that, that that we should pay attention to. But get, but Planned, Planned Parenthood. I'll just say Planned yeah. Parenthood since its founding. Margaret Sagner has had a eugenicist approach to how she's interpreting women's health, how she's interpreting uh, population control. Uh, you have. But hasn't that case? I mean, getting back to what Marjorie you, you, said, it seems have, to me when you watch these videos, if I can, I, I listen to Jonathan, second, if I can. Right. I, I listen to some of the arguments of the Republican senators who wanted defunded and now want to hold up government funding. It seems to me, as an observer, this is not at all about a Planned Parenthood video. The Planned Parenthood video is a convenient weapon to use to try to undercut a constitutional right of people to have the procedure that you may well, find, that, and many Americans, including that, pro-choice Americans, may that, find to be horrible. Well, that video has to be. It, we have to take it for what it is. We're seeing executives, we're seeing uh, folks standing in front of a lighted petri dish going in with toothpicks and milling around looking at uh, livers and hearts of baby body So parts. what should the result of that, that be? That, that, that the Supreme Court should relook look at Roe v. Wade? Well, we certainly shouldn't be giving them half a billion dollars a year. Uh, you follow their money trail, they're getting a profit from it. You follow our money trail as American citizens, we're paying taxpayer dollars. To plan parenting. Can we but try to resolve these issues? Not for abortions, there? not for so health care, for contraception, for STD, you the know, federal sexually government funds diseases. tens of thousands of different women's health uh, centers and women's health clinics that provide the same. Uh, procedures that Planned Parenthood does, with the exception of abortion, with the exception of selling baby body parts. We, we can take There's that no money. There's no selling of baby Listen, body parts. That That's what the problem dollars is. Dollars that we're giving to Planned Parenthood respond, yeah. and give it to those tens of thousands of organizations that are doing the right it. things. But, yeah. but that's the point. You're using an argument that's not true, that baby parts are being sold. That's not. It's tissue that's being used for research so that babies can be kept healthy. It's a good cause. And this is an agenda by people who don't want. Kathy Paul had a great piece in the New York Times today saying, where are the people to stand up for Roe v. Wade, for people who have had this, have had to have it done, and it's constitutional? If I may, just throwing it in this direction, is this, it's 2016. This is going to be front and center. We've known that virtually all the Republicans have spoken about defunding. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jeb Bush made a comment about women's health issues. He stepped it back, saying there are a lot of good things that are funded, as Jonathan said uh, a minute ago. We're going to be living with this the rest of our natural lives and beyond, 2020, 2024. It's never going to be over, is it? I, I, I think there's a way to get this over with, and the way is to treat abortion as a medical procedure. We are never going to get away with Roe. It's never going to be pre-Roe Reeve Wade because women are always going to have abortions. As Bill Clinton said, they're either safe or legal or they're unsafe and illegal. And we're not going to go back there. So make it like any other medical procedure, not at a freestanding clinic, in a hospital or an obstetrician or a gynecologist's office or a clinic. How do you feel about that? Else. And I think that's a great idea, but it also means improving access to safe birth control reducing the stigma around having the procedure done and making sure it's safe. Last 15 seconds, do you question the fact that there is a constitutional right to an abortion that should not be abridged? I think there are babies. 
and there are lives at stake. This is a matter of sanctity of life. It's a matter of preserving life. Not my question. My question even is: in Do the you womb. accept Roe v. And Wade? Do you accept Roe v. Wade as the law of the land? The Supreme Court has made a decision. So, do you accept that? It? Decisions <laughs> can be wrong. Decisions can be wrong. We've seen that in um, uh, Dr the Dred United. Well, Dred Scott case. The Supreme Court can get things wrong. Roe v. Wade and Dred Scott. I think there's an argument that you can make that the preservation of life is as important in the womb as it was in Dread Scott with African Fair Americans. Enough. But defunding Planned Parenthood Marjorie, is nice not the way you. to protect I'll see you tomorrow at 11. Martha Coakley, pleasure. Jonathan, nice to meet you. Thanks so much. Thank